come to church um, they come for various reasons you know why you have come more often than not we come because we believe and because we believe we seek and the scripture says that those who seek will find those who knock the doors will be opened unto them and those who ask will receive i would just like you to pray for yourself this morning whatever it is that you believed that motivated you to come i want you to pray about that i want you to thank god because you have come to the place where what you believe will become a reality where what you aspire and you hope for will become a blessing i want you to begin to appreciate god and begin to thank him call upon the name of god whom you have believed whom you have decided in your heart to seek because you will find him whom you have the opportunity now to ask from him because he will give unto you when you knock on his door he will not shut his door against you i invite you to begin to pray right now for yourself because of what you believe thank him because your faith has brought you here thank him because your belief has motivated you to come to the one person to the one place into the environment where your belief has the potential has the possibility has the has the hope of becoming a reality thank him thank god because you are here thank god because you are here thank god because your faith has brought you thank god because your belief has brought you thank god because that which you seek has brought you thank god because that which you desire has brought you thank god because that which you hope for has brought you thank him because you are alive thank him because you are here thank him because there is hope for you thank him because he is the god of all the earth thank him because he is the maker of all things thank him because he is the monarch of the universe thank him because he is the god almighty thank him because he does not need the help of anyone to be god Thank him because he does not need to consult any man to make a decision. Thank him because when he makes a decision, his decision is final. Thank him because he has the power and the resources. He has the ability, but much more. He is disposed. He is willing. He is disposed. He is willing to do good for you, to you. He is willing. He is minded to bless you because that is who he is. That is the kind of God he is. Bless him because you are in the best place to be this morning. Thank him because it is of his will and of his mercies that we are alive and we recognize it. And so Lord we thank you. We bless your holy name. We give you praise. Thank you for all that you have done in righteousness. Thank you, thank you, thank you for what your power and your grace alone can accomplish. We honor you. We honor you. We honor you. Thank you because our gathering is unto you. We have come by faith. We come because we believe. We come because we want to see you. We want to, we, we want to see you. We, we have come because we want to see you. We want to see your power. We want to see your glory. We want to see your presence. We want to hear from you. A word from you changes everything. That is why we have come. And we bless your holy name. Thank you for this moment. Thank you for this assembly. Thank you because in your presence there is fullness of joy. And everlasting grace and peace be magnified forever and ever in jesus precious name we have prayed and all the saints that believe it said a big amen all the saints that believe it said a big amen shout hallelujah glory be to god all right if i would just um ask the choir to just come do one worship song and then we'll connect back to the headquarter church.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's rise up enough to worship God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Most High Father. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Ancients of Day, because you are King, you are Lord, and there's absolutely not like you. No one that can be compared to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, you are highly lifted up. There is no one like you. Halle, 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 halleluja. You are high lifted up. There is no one like you. Halleluja. Halle, 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 halle.
Hallelujah. We're going to give God some praise this morning. Pardon my voice. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. 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 This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord our God has made. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord our God has made.
Let him know that he is worthy of your life. He is worthy of your praise and worship. He is worthy of your sacrifices. Lord, we have come to worship you because you deserve it all. You deserve all my praise and worship. You deserve all the glory. We exalt you. We bless your name. We worship you. You alone are worthy in Jesus' name. We worship. Hallelujah. To celebrate Jesus this morning. He's worthy. Amen. Let us put our hands together for the tribe of Judah. Celebrate God. Appreciate them. Appreciate the tribe of Judah. Celebrate them. Glory be to God. Amen. We may be seated in Jesus' name. Glory. Hallelujah. I um, uh, already um, intimated those of you who got God's package for coming early to church. Amen. I said, those of you who got God's package for coming early to church, they, they, I shared a secret with them. Uh, so I'm now just bringing the ones that God kept for some people, some people that I, he said I can be kind to. <laughs> Praise the Lord. All right, today is a, um, it's a, uh, a special day. Many of us do not know that um, uh, in our church globally, um, sometimes we hold events that uh, connect us all together. We are um, a church ministry that is probably close to 300 branches spread across the nations of the world, you know, and um, once in a while we have events that bring us all together. We have opportunity to um, link up with our brothers and sisters across the face of the earth um, where God has placed us as trend, as a family. So this week we've been having our award celebration where we, uh, and, and, and it's been a marvelous one. Uh, some of us had had opportunity to join in. So this morning um, we're going to link up with our headquarters church. The service is already going on. And um, one, one of the reasons why we had worship um, is for us to be able to um, come together in spirit and flow into um, the event that is already going on. Now, the theme is for you to experience what uh, it is like in the uh, in the family of Trem, so uh, so that we technology has made it possible for us to be in Lagos, Nigeria, right now, while we are sitting in Fulham in London. Can I have an amen? So we are going to do uh, teletransportation from Fulham, London, to where Lagos, Nigeria. Hallelujah. So some of the events and the activities that may be going on will be novel to us. Will be new to us um but nothing is strange in the house of god how many of you have seen your spleen before the spleen do you know what is called the spleen there's a spleen in your body yeah. ah, do you know that there is a spleen in your body you don't know ah okay so i've given you something to go and and that's what it is like you never know what goes on in the totality of your body until it is introduced to you I'm sure if I mention your heart, many of you say, yeah, 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 I know what my heart does. Is that correct? When I mention your liver, you say, yeah, 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 I know what my liver does. Amen. Now, if I call Dr. Naomi, come and tell us some things here now, all of you go, ah. give me a name, something that they've not heard before, something all of us have not heard before. Give me one long one, cerebro, whatever, just give me one long one, even if it's not true. <laughs> Hallelujah. The objective of it is that there are things we never know exist that do take place. So it may not look familiar, but it is part of what makes us a ministry. Praise God. So I invite you to join Lagos, uh, Nigeria, as we join with our headquarter church. God bless you.
Do you want to hear my testimony? Do you want to hear my testimony? Yeah. All right. Oh, 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 thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. Listen. Hey. Ray.
on the solid rock on which I stand and never fails. His name is Jesus. You don't understand. See, that is how I overcame. That is how I overcame. Oh, be an Akashata. Listen. I trust that you have enjoyed the power pack session since this conference started. My name is Ronke Adele and this is Church News, a special edition of the Power in the Word magazine. Celebrating our Big Mommy's 71st birthday is on sale for only 1,000 Naira. As usual, it is a fresh word from the desk of the presiding bishop, as well as other value-adding content from across the TREM world. Do well to get a copy and you'll be glad you did. The first seven days of the month morning prayer starts tomorrow by 6 a.m. We are all enjoying to be a part of it by connecting online or on site. Power for Living Service continues this Tuesday with the Forge series. Time is 6 p.m. See you there. The Men Can We Talk July edition is around the corner. Date, Saturday 29th of July 2023. The theme, the Congregation of the Mighty, with a special session on staying relevant in a changing world. The speaker, Parakuna Eraga, Professor of Economics, Pan-Atlantic University, Lekki, Lagos. Time, 9 a.m. Gentlemen, mark your calendar and plan to attend. You're still listening to Church News. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Let's put our hands together. It is possible. I say it is possible because with God, all things are possible. It is possible for us to make it happen. It is possible. Ultra-modern building is possible. Everybody getting, all families get involved, singles get involved, married get involved, teenagers get involved, everybody, make sure you're part of it, because it's happening now. Let's fund it. Welcome back, and thank you for staying with us. Trem Ijesha would like to invite you to her Open Heaven Convention 2023 with the theme manifest which will hold on the 2nd to the 6th of august 2023 trem magodo the watered garden holds her annual conference tagged one family conference 2023 with the theme grace and glory the date 10th to 13th of august 2023 you are invited to be a part of this year's conference trem lawanson branch the city of god invites you to her 2023 annual conference with the theme, God is your glory. It holds on Friday, 28th 
to Sunday 30th of July, 2023. Everyone is invited. Trem Iba Central Dominion House invites you to her media Thanksgiving. Theme, Ebenezer. Date, 29th to 30th of July, 2023. Trem Lagos Zone 8 Churches Grace Family invites you to her Emergence of Champions Conference 2023 with the theme, Extravagantly Blessed. The date, 26th to 30th of July, 2023. Trem Festac invites you to her Intense Worship July edition. The theme, Seven Days in July Testimony. The date, 10th to 16th of July, 2023. 2023 is our year of exceeding great reward. And the testimonies coming in are mind-blowing and soul-lifting. Get on board the testimony strain. Don't keep yours away. Share your testimonies with us via testimonies at trem.org so we can celebrate God's goodness with you. Thank you for listening. My name is Ronke Adiele and do have a fabulous week ahead. Cette conférence d'impact. Under the topic having a formidable impact. Alors sur le thème avoir un impact formidable. Sénégal is blessed and we welcome you. Le Sénégal est béni et nous vous souhaitons la bienvenue. We have looked forward to being in Sénégal. Ça fait longtemps que nous avions désiré rechercher d'être ici au Sénégal. Since we were the first time in the Alors tel tel que nous travaillons avec le temps de Dieu, nous pensons que c'est ça maintenant le temps de Dieu. Alors nous avons déjà été au Gabon, en Centrafrique, au Cameroun, au Bénin, au Togo, au Niger, pour la même conférence. Alors, élever les hommes et les femmes que Dieu a déjà établis dans ces, ces, ces pays afin d'impacter leur vie. Et des témoignages abondent de ce que Dieu a déjà fait dans la vie des hommes. Alors, nous pensons que nous allons avoir un bon moment ici au Sénégal. So what can the people of God, the people of Senegal expect at the end of this Alors, qu'est-ce que les hommes du Sénégal, qu'est-ce que les hommes, le, le peuple de Dieu peut and, attendre and de Dieu durant ce moment Alors, partout où la parole de Dieu, la parole vraie de Dieu est prêchée, Dieu confirme toujours sa parole. I believe that God will touch the lives of people in the world, the kingdom, the fire that is in them. Alors nous pensons que Dieu va toucher les vies des gens d'une manière extraordinaire et il va encore attiser la flamme qu'il y a dans la vie des gens pour faire encore beaucoup de choses dans ce pays. Challenge. 
When he was about to feed the 5,000, he prayed. When he was to raise Lazarus, he prayed. Jesus never struggled in ministry. And the whole essence is to teach us how these things work. Prayer is fellowshipping with God. He's joining forces with God. He's establishing the kingdom of God on earth. He who spared not his own son. Celui qui n'a pas épargné son propre fils. And gave him up for us. Mais qu'il a livré pour nous. How can he not? Comment ne nous donnera freely give us all things? Toutes choses avec lui. He did not spare his son. Il n'a pas épargné son propre fils. He gave him. Il l'a livré. Is it success in ministry you can have? Est-ce que c'est le succès dans le ministère que vous ne pouvez pas avoir? Challenge is. Le défi est Can que, you dare believe God? Est-ce que vous pouvez oser croire en Dieu? Can you believe His word? Est-ce que vous pouvez croire en sa parole? Can you believe what He said about you? Est-ce que vous pouvez croire en ce qu'il dit concernant? Can you accept His your acceptance? Vous pouvez, est-ce que vous pouvez accepter? Heaven has accepted you. Le ciel vous a accepté. Can you accept your acceptance? Est-ce que vous pouvez accepter le fait qu'il vous a accepté? Put your hands on your chest. Mettez votre main sur votre poitrine. Say it. Dites. I am not an accident. Je ne suis pas un accident. I am a part of God's plan. Je fais partie du plan de Dieu. As our Father continues to propagate the gospel of Jesus, continues to raise ministers, leaders across the nations of the world. I'm not seeing tremors on their feet. You're still sitting down. You're still sitting down. 78 years and still going strong, ministering the gospel, training leaders, raising men, women, and nations for this gospel hallelujah we're going to pray very briefly very briefly the video you saw was of his missions trip to senegal and he's going again next month you see the date august 8th to 10th is it proper that we send forth a word is it proper that we speak concerning that conference? Hallelujah. Let's just pray for him. Lift our Father up before the Lord. Commit. Commit. Commit it into God's hands. Morike skundrava sundre deve sofro tolo mondo. Prakoskin deve leze kotoliana lava shata. Le prokoto brondosi fracatale endroski fratoskende le pretoskita le rende vesotro diva shata prateske le brekozo kotom brondosi fratoshinda la vratalayada me roto shi krato veskunda veskinda fricataliende le vesutalia ma robos kelende revesundre de vesukatalie reke sontro lovo sontro tipa la riende le vesutraye Reke sufra to la mande brika sata fataliande. Rebos ki fratasande le vezondre. Lege rubas kunde freketolia. Mashata la vayadada. Repos si fratas kinde frikata. Me rondo fo sokoto. Yes, he has given unto his body apostles, pastors, 
teachers, evangelists. Evangelists, he has given for the equipping of the saints. For the equipping of the saints, our father as an apostle sent to the nations for the equipping of the saints that they do their own work of ministry. Thank you, Lord, for your servant. Thank you, Lord, for your son that you have given, you have given to us as a people, as the continent of Africa. Thank you for your son. Thank you for your son. Thank you. Thank you for the heart for the missions. Thank you for a heart for missions. Yes, we thank you. We are the redeemed evangelical mission the redeemed evangelical mission it's core it's a core it's a core it's a core it's an important part of who we are it's an important part of who we are raising leaders raising men and women teaching people equipping leaders for the gospel of Jesus beloved to put together these meetings costs a lot of money and I want to, at this point, thank God for every one of us who is a Kingdom Impact Network partner. If you are one, celebrate yourself. And if you're yet to join, and if you're yet to join, you can see the impact. You can see the impact. If you cannot go, you can sponsor the mission strip of our Father. The least 50,000 naira a year. 50,000 naira a year. The account details are on the screen. You can also log on to www.kingdomimpact.network to become and sign up as a partner. Sign up as a partner. The benefits are endless. Let's also pray for every king partner. Let's pray for every king partner. As you continue to support the work of ministry, your pocket will not run dry. In this year of exceeding great reward, even when it looks like you have lost an opportunity, God will show himself strong on your behalf. He said to Abraham, fear not. Yes, the king might have taken everything, but I am your shield and your exceeding great reward. Let's decree a blessing of exceeding great reward upon every king partner, upon every king partner. The blessing of exceeding great reward, everywhere the gospel is preached, everywhere the gospel is preached, it is recorded to your account, everywhere. This gospel is preached everywhere, every nation, every leader that is raised by reason of your sending forth, by reason of your contribution. We speak the blessing of exceeding great reward upon every king partner. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Don't forget the date, August 8th through to the 10th. If you're going to sign up as a king partner, please do so. Expenses and everything, all the plans are currently being put in place for the next meeting. Praise the Lord. Before I step down, just a little information. We have um, some, a man lost cash. Please, you may be seated. A man lost cash in the male toilet. I won't say the amount, but if you know you lost, you misplaced cash in the male toilet, please go to the usher stand with proof. With proof. You're asking what proof? There's proof. There's proof. There must be proof, right? There must be proof. Did you lose one million? Did you lose fifty thousand dollars? You lost cash. I didn't mention denomination. I didn't mention currency. Hallelujah. So please do well to go to the usher stand and give them proof. Hallelujah. God bless you in Jesus' name.
somebody who is alive and well shout Jesus good morning big daddy good morning big mommy good morning college of bishops our district pastor the zonal pastors area pastors branch pastors assistant branch pastors and all their spouses leaders in different categories tremites both those who are on site and those who are watching online can we put our hands together to the king of kings and to the lord of lords glory to god wow after the gospel truth we will be doing exploits and thereafter we'll come to establish the kingdom culture and after that, it will be time for the mother of all conferences, the Kingdom Life World Conference. Let somebody make some noise. This year, we are very excited about Kingdom Life World Conference because this is going to be the best Kingdom Life World Conference ever. I thought I would get an amen. amen. It's interesting to note, ladies and gentlemen, that Kingdom Life is 33 years old. Kingdom Life is 33 years old. So this is the 33rd anniversary of Kingdom Life. And guess what the theme of the conference is? Somebody shout that name. Is the name above every name? The biggest influencer on planet Earth, in heaven and earth and beneath the earth. Shout the name! Listen, it's not an accident, it's not an incident, it's not a coincidence that on the 33rd anniversary of Kingdom Life World Conference, the theme is a man who lived for 33 years. Shout the name again! All right, so some of our committee members are going to be sharing some very powerful information. Please take note of them. God bless you as you listen. All right. Good morning, Big Daddy. Good morning, Big Mom. Permit me to stand on the existing protocol. Obviously, we've been having Kingdom Life World Conference. This year... We are intentional about the things we want to do. There will be accommodation for all. I thought we would be excited. As many that are willing to camp. As a matter of fact, we are expecting nothing less than 2,000 campers this year. Remember, if we camp you, we'll bring you to to the program we will take you back to the camp and so it's going to be awesome time we are also making available hotels for those of us who do not want the camp at negotiated prices for you so that you can go you can come and then for those of us who want something more comfortable there are apartments that we are also negotiating to make sure they are available for you take this opportunity it is going to be on the basis of first come first serve Register with your zonal pastors and then we will get your list and the provision is there for you. Somebody shout Jesus. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Good morning, Big Mommy and Big Daddy. On behalf of the Finance Committee, we want to express our profound appreciation to every partner. It's because you gave that we're able to do so much. We truly, really appreciate you. Thank you for your consistency. Thank you for believing in this vision. Thank you for giving sacrificially over and over and over. We cannot thank you enough. And we pray that the Lord of the harvest will give you a blessing that you cannot contain. We truly, really appreciate you. We have partners and the minimum is 250,000 Naira for Ruby and above. We also have contributors and anything below 250,000, you are also welcome. We thank you and we love you. Every fruit from Kingdom Life will abound unto you. You know, the young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but you will not lack any good thing. 
We truly appreciate you. We also encourage everyone, everyone. Big Mommy has pledged and she has paid. Even my small daughter that is still in the university, she did pledge, you know, so anybody and everyone can be a part of this. And we assure you that not only will the money be used judiciously, we will account for every cobble. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good morning, Big Daddy. Good morning, Big Mommy. I stand on all existing protocols. Amen. Are they not looking wonderful this morning? Is that how you express your splendor? They are looking exceptional. They are looking exceptional this morning. How do you feel like wearing Jesus? We know he's inside of us, but how does it feel to wear Jesus? This is what it feels like wearing Jesus. So if you want to be part of us, just after this, we have a stand over there. You can pick a copy. A t-shirt is 2000, it's 4,000 Naira. The t-shirt is 4,000 Naira. The t-shirt is 4,000 Naira. And then the cap, the face cap, we have the red, we have the black. They go for 2,000 Naira. Amen? And then this one, called the bucket hat, amen, is actually two in one. So you can come into service like I've come in this morning and wearing the black side. And then while in the service, I can change it to the red side. So I walk into service wearing black. I walk out wearing red. And I'm still wearing Jesus. Can somebody give Jesus a round of applause this morning? Is that how you clap for this, my Jesus? You are not, make, you are not excited about this, my Jesus. Is it my Jesus? Glory to God. One of the things we do as we prepare for Kingdom Live World Conference is what we call skills acquisition. And last year alone, we had about 400 people graduating from the skills acquisition program. And from inception, we've had about 4,000 people graduating from the skills acquisition program. And the beauty of it is that most of these people have become established on their own, producing things that people are buying. Hallelujah. So this year, we will be having the skills acquisition just a day after Metathesis. So Metathesis is ending on the 27th, and so from 28th being Monday, 28th of, of August, all through to 15th of September, we will be having the skills acquisition for this year. Last year, we had about 10 courses, and the results have been massive. So it will, be, it will be a good opportunity for you to register. Before the end of this month, the registration details will be made available. They will be sent through our pastors, and they will also be on our social media handles so that you can register. It's just 2,000 Naira for the registration. We just needed to pay the registration fee. You're not going to pay the, the uh, participation fee and all of that. You're not going to pay the lecturers just that registration fee, and that will be it. Please mark your calendar. For those of us who are working, please note, 19 to 26th of September, you must book it. Go back to your office this week, apply for your leave, because nothing will stop you from coming for this year's Kingdom Life World Conference. Somebody shout, Jesus! God bless you. See you at Kingdom Life. Thank you, sir. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Good morning, Big Daddy. Good morning, Big Mommy. Good morning, Bishop Walter. And all the ministers here, all the leaders, every believer, every living proud tremite. Can you shout hallelujah? 
Well, we've been on this mountain top. If you've been following the wisdom for the day. But after this experience, just as soon as the benediction will be shared, we begin to step into the valley and that's where the major challenge is. Praise God. And so part of what we'll be doing now is to prepare ourselves, yourself, myself, for this. Could you please give me 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 4 in the English Standard Version. I prefer that translation, ESV. Watch this. The one who speaks in what? In a tongue does what? Builds up himself. And let me just stop there. Now, quickly, when we say himself, we, because we speak in tongues, we just think it's only the spirit that has been built up. The word there in the Greek speaks of the totality of yourself. Your spirit, your soul, and what? Your body. Many of us have believed previously it's just my spirit. No, it affects everything about you. Big Mommy on Thursday, her team was, God wants you well, spirit, soul, body. So could you please just stand? Could you please stand? We are going to speak in thumbs. Get yourself prepared. Glory to Jesus. Are we set? Are we set? This don't be the mouse. Open your mouth and let it flow. Glory to God. Let's declare it in the name of Jesus. Speaking in tongues is a spiritual experience that some of us may not have. But let's just pray in any language that you can pray. Just reach out to God in any language that is open to you. It is a tongue. Just lift up your voice and just join in that prayer. It's a spiritual experience. Thank you, Holy Spirit. La bromo dole ya magada basite le rande. Ya doshke ya dalebre muzo ista lebre mundo le bata ya kita lebre mundo le bata. Sedebo ya balabra ha ha ta hike le keke te moko ya magama zute. La broho dole ba ya kike le bosi ta le moya da hash la rende le bre mundo le ya. Seba da ya makaba le bre mundo le ya makama zoste le bre hida le bosh kayanda le. Tehi ka le bre mundo le ya makada doste le bre hinte le bre hundo le bre hinte le bosh ala ya. Spirit of the living God, mane ne ya kata le bre moshe is ka le bre mundo le ya. La dos ke tele bra handa le ya makaba kushe is ka le bre mundo le ba na ya kike kike tete. We pray for expression, malibo shukule yande, manifestation, malubra hasite le ya makama nani kete ya, impartation lo God, malubra hasige te ya makaba koi ke le bre hinde. La dos ke tanda le ya makaba shihis te le bre mundo le ya. Let your glory, let your glory fill this place. Let your presence fill this place. Let your majesty fill this place. Let your awesome presence fill every void. La rosi dale, la bush kayande. Le brahaza tele ya magaba da bush kile ya magaba tunde le ya. Rabolo si kata yemo koshe is kalebre mundo le. Madabosh kaya kalebre hinte le ya. Lady Bush, Katali, Riva Libre Mundo, Yamagada, Dushki, Rabatali Bono, Yamakaba, Sehistali, Nahuda, He, Ikada Bush, Kelebre Mundo, Yamakama, Zutuli, Sehistal, Abraham, Lale Bono, Yamakaba, Sehistal, Libre Mundo, We, Maya, Yaki, Kiki, 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 Kiki,
da Hilta Lea Makabaza, his calibre mundoli. The depth of our being reaches out to the deep in you, God. Ya libre monso tuli alagada huskele rindelia. The depth of our being, the depth of our pain, the depth of our faith, the depth of our life reaches out to you, God. Ya los calibre hanta lea makada dusku lubu huntulia. The totality of our experience. Ya los ke ya bariba la brahmanda le buku soti la brahmanda lea. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Ya lora libra haza de his calibre montuli ya makaba da hu calibre montuli. Jaba libre montuli ya makaba za his calibre montuli managa da iki. Riba libre montuli managa da ya makala libre montuli ya makala libre montuli ya makala montuli ya makala montuli ya makala montuli Ya makabatan de lebo gudui, ya lebo shka ya makabas soto lebra handali, la legi de ya makabas roto le ya makabas santali, de ya kika katali yande, ledos kitadi, rabosh kayanda, le kika taya makabas lori bala brahatali ya makabas zati lebo shekike, na koto ya makabas romo soto le izgali brahmandeli. He remove riba la brahanta le ya makaba zuhista le bremondo le ya makaba dahike le reboto le rianda le ya makaba nani gede ya makaba saki ke 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 te ya makaba kuni rapolo bohoto le ya makaba zahiske le bremondo le ya we call upon you God thou the workers mariba santa le ya upon the circles of the earth ya ya le bremondo le ya makaba suto le ya. You ride upon the wings of God by your name, Jah. Yahush ke yaba raba sotulea. El loe rabo satali brahanda le yaba kadabush ke yandali. Te ne ya karaba libre mo sotulea ndi. De hush kale brahaza tele yaba kabaza zizi. Zalos ke te rebo tule yaba kabashe i kala libre mundo le yaba kabaza mista. Rabo lo boto yaba kabashe i. Calibre mundo le ya makaba zahis calibre mundo le ya talo rege de le ya makaba sai talibre mundo le managa da bakuri zete le ya makaba shilibre mundo le ya makaba zahis talibre rabala bagada ya makaba sotulo bromo boto le ya makaba dahiki latoni de le ya makaba sheki kiti ya marabala brahan talibre lagodo sikata ya makaba kubi mighty god mighty god mighty Mighty God, Mighty God, Mighty God, Mighty God, Mighty God. Yalevo sita la brahanda le ya makaba sutole ya dalush ke ya makaba rumko soko kutole ya makaba kubi. In you we live and move. We have our being. No na da ya ki ke libra hatale ya makaba zoske le de dia. No one is like unto you. No one compares to you. Yalevo shika la brahanda le ya makaba zoske le brahanda le ya makaba duri. You reign, you reign, you reign. Majesty, in power, in glory and on honor. Ya labo se kike 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 tele ya makabarande. Le do hush kayantale. We worship before you. We worship before you. We worship before you. Ya laba de bos kata. We worship before you. We worship before you. Ma le bos tali rande. Mehi gada ba ya makabatosh kilebre hendele ya. We Worship you. La dosi katala ya makaba robo zondo le ya makana nigedi. Teba raba la bramundo le brahada le bo ya makaba sate le yandi. Madebo shika le brahanta le ya makaba kubi. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Shout another amen. Amen. Lift up your hands to heaven. Yes. Yes. You love Jesus. You love him. From the rising.
Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Receive our worship. Receive all the adoration. We bless your name. Thank you. Thank you for accepting us. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. In Jesus' much less name, we have worshipped. Put those hands together for the Lord. Celebrate him, celebrate him. Oh. Hallelujah. Before you get seated, turn to somebody, tell him, I'm glad you made it. Tell another person, I'm glad you made it. Tell him you are anointed. Tell him you are highly favored. You are deeply loved. You are extravagantly blessed. Say to yourself, I am highly favored. I am deeply loved. I am extravagantly blessed. Go ahead, put your hands once again together for the Lord. Glory to God. You may be seated. We welcome each and every one of you and everyone online. Those of you from different parts of the world, we celebrate, we acknowledge your presence. Celebrate those who are watching us online from different parts of the world. What a week, what a wonderful time we have spent in the presence of God. Powerful sessions from Tuesday till today. God has been so awesome, touching lives. And those of you who are, are coming today, where have you been? Where have you been? We have said it over and over again that when it, we put up a program together, it is intentional, it is strategic, it is of the spirit. It's not what you will take for granted. When we want you there, we want you there. I've said it in diff different occasions that online is for when there are challenges such that one cannot be there physically. But there's something about being physically present in a place. When you are given direction, because it's like the wave moves to that place. So any other place you are at that time will not suffice. God said to the children of Israel, I want you to be indoors. When the death angel will, will be going, moving across this, the town, stay indoors. Make sure that the, the doors, posts, and the lintels are, are marked with the blood. When I see the blood, I will pass over. But it's still your responsibility to stay indoors. Because if you don't stay indoors, the dead angel will kill you. You see that? So there is need to listen to instructions. Very important. These things are not just play on words. They are not play on words. It's, it's important when you, are, when you are told, when there's such a holy convocation, let's gather. Meetings like that, like Kingdom Life, and like, 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 like the word celebration, like the Methacesis and Timania, that's all announced. If you are part of that, you, you should endeavor to be there and not do your own thing. Endeavor to be there and not do your thing. The, the days we are living are dangerous. Very important. They are dangerous days we are living in. So I'm, I'm challenging us because of other conferences and meetings that will be coming in, more especially all the young people. Very important. Don't just pick and choose. 
because you can never never tell which area which of the meetings that god will intervene in your situation it could be during the music session it could be when you are even being ushered in it could be when the security people are telling you where to park and where not to park that's how god does he uses the fully things of this world to confound the wise so don't ever think you have it all together you know what to do learn to obey spiritual instructions for your good it's for your good it's for your good I'd like to congratulate the kind and um, what celebration committee for a good job put your hands together for them for the time the sacrifice they have made to be able to to usher us into this year's world celebration we we really appreciate what you have done and uh, for now I'm, I'm not thinking of making changes but i'm going to make some some input later on and uh, so so reverend roland you are still wearing the cap yeah, but you have to hold, hold a meeting with me and i'll give you directions of what you're going to do very important so and um, also i want to quickly comment on the the meetings that the young people are going to are holding they, they they've come here to tell us about their meetings the timania and the metastasis they are 20 years anniversary please pastors endeavor that all your young people you make it intentional and deliberately make announcements in your church concerning them with the things happening among young people today we cannot afford to just leave our young people to be going without giving them direction they need to know that they have questions in their hearts that requires answers they have questions that require answer they need those questions are there so i don't want us to take these things for granted they are going through challenges the world is in the, i mean it's like the devil is loose to destroy the this generation that is about to reveal the glory of god parents don't allow your children at home let them be part of these meetings they are put together for you i was saying it in the board in the in the synod meeting yesterday thank god for jackpot syndrome and all that but listen if our children are not given the solid roots they require the things that are being spread out there in other nations of the world is frightening i don't know how they will survive it so we have a responsibility to ensure that they are well rooted and grounded so that no matter where they see themselves in the world whoever is saying something that will shift them from god they will be able to defend themselves and stand and not fall for pressure fall under pressure peer pressure or societal pressures it's important we plead with you because if you don't listen to me now you will cry later i am telling you out of not just uh, 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 speaking to you in the spirit and i'm telling you out of experience if you don't listen you'll be the one that will cry later but we don't want anyone to cry god did not give you your children to, for them to become a problem to you but the bible said train up a child in the way he should grow and when he grows he will not want the part in other words that word train means give him a taste of god let him taste this god oh taste and see that the lord is good because these programs and meetings will be on, online for those outside lagos particularly the young people sing and those who are supposed to come because it's, it's still vacation period let them come let them come so that they will be well founded well rooted 
we don't want any of our, our children are special our children have a global space on earth here today and they must all occupy their global space it will not be, it will not be denied them so let us do what we can please i plead with every one of you pastors take it very very seriously and i also want to say that if you're a children teacher there are there, there is a, a training coming up on the 29th of this month 22nd of this month 22nd of this month training for all children to teach us if you don't want to submit yourself to training you are fired from from doing what training uh, taking care of our children you are fired i'm telling you if you will not submit yourself to be professionally trained for the days and hour we are in then whatever branch you are you are fired and if the pastor allows you to be there, what they, what they Try and refresh your your screen, David. I said David. Daniel. We have had um, an internet, um, a drop in the internet. Praise the Lord. While we are waiting to rejoin, um, I'll begin to say a few things that relate to um, what we've heard so far. Um, let me pick on the last thing that our father was saying, I wanted us to be part of the, um, because he's still going to share the word, so I, that's the bit I wanted us to not miss, but I'm also mindful of the fact that you are so used to leaving church at 12 o'clock today. You know, you are so used to leaving church at 12 o'clock. Um, you may still be able to leave church at 12 o'clock, but I would really love us to be blessed by him, to hear him. Um, share the word with us and then bless us and pray for us so what it means is that service may be a bit longer um, um but it's a celebration it's a special it's a special service it's a special conference and so it's not like uh, the regular service that um they will hold because their services will hold generally between nine in the morning and they finish by 12 noon actually um all right there's one thing about young people our young people are the future of our nation they are our posterity they are our confidence and every young person who is not skilled in god so I'll reframe my statement again or I'll repeat my statement. Every young person who is not skilled in God will struggle in life. Many of us have been young and now we are much older. One thing is very true about life. When you are younger, you think you have the angle on life. You think you understand life. 
Am I correct? You think you, you think you have it? You think you have it? You think you have some? You think you know something your parents do not know? Can I get a, can I get a wave of agreement in the house? When I was seventeen, sometimes I used to look at my mom and I say I can do better. I look at my father. I say, Nah, I can't make the mistake this man has made. I spent a larger part of my life seriously strategically preparing for my future until when i found myself doing the things i boasted to myself that i would never do in my life then i realized that it's more to life than what you can learn from the pages of a book i had the opportunity to speak to a young person sometimes a long time ago and i said to this person that there's a difference between being intelligent and then becoming matured you can be very intelligent and smart it does not make you matured and ready to undo life you may know the books but you cannot work the books praise jesus so to every young person so I'm looking in this direction now because I see more of you there. To every young person, if there's one skill you will attain in life, it is to become skilled in God. You must become skilled in God. When you're not skilled in God, you will struggle in life. Because the wisdom and the tips and tricks that make life work you can only find it in God. Only. Only in God. Praise Jesus. So it, is, it has always been my prayer and my aspiration that God will take you to the places that your parents have not been and take you to see things that your parents have not seen. But favor and, and, and talent may take you and present you. Character is the only thing that will keep you. And the only place you learn character is in the fear and in the love of God. I understand that we are back. I'll take it up again. Let's join them. Are we back online? All right. Take us back. I'll pick it up later. All over the place, not just here in this congregation, but generally in the church world, who are living a life of defeat because of their ignorance. They are being defeated. They have everything, but yet being defeated, like the scripture says, and, and yet hiding armed and hiding Saul was hiding from Goliath and yet they were the chosen of God they had all it takes all the equipments all the tools they are covenant people and they were hiding but see the difference with David so you see it's not about age it's about what you know who you know it is those who know their God that will be what strong and do exploits those who know their god so the onus now lies on you to take time to know this god because when you know him is knowing yourself and knowing the ability all the resources available to you very important so a lot are basically practicing what i call christian christian religion going through religious motions attend church service every Sunday, very generous in giving. They fast, they pray, they praise, they dance. <laughs> but they really don't know why they're doing what they're doing. Why are you doing those things? Why do you do them? <laughs> As a result, the benefits that they are supposed to get, they don't get it. Because if you don't know, 
the purpose of something abusive is inevitable so the reason is that they lack understanding and so the, 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 the wise man in Proverbs tells us, he said, get wisdom, get understanding. In all that getting, get wisdom. He said, it's the principal thing. Wisdom is the principal thing. Proverbs 4, 5 and 7 and to 7. Wisdom is important. That's the know-how. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all that getting, get understanding. The know-how, get understanding. Very critical, very critical. The Bible says they know not, neither do they understand. That's why the whole world is out of course. In Psalm 82, when you don't know, things will be top this of me, upside down. And you are wondering what's going on, but I love God, yes. They know not, neither will, will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said you are gods, and all you are children of the Most High. You see that, they don't understand. So I said, when you don't know, you will die like an ordinary person. You just don't die like a chicken. The devil will just take you cheap. And that's not God's intention for us. So understanding is very important. The know-how. You'll be surprised about how many people are in constant pursuit. How to praise God. How to honor God. How to, how to make God accept them. How, to, how they are seeking. They are fasting. I want God to accept me. And they are praying. So as to enter the presence of God. When you, and I ask such people, when are you ever going to enter? when will you know you have entered when you are always going to when you are always in pursuit you are in pursuit of something i want to be sure that god loves me when will you ever know that he has he really loves you that's the question as if god is in, in a hide and seek position with his children Puppy, yes. That's not, that's, not, that's not the God we serve. In the hide and seek. So you, you are just walking blindly. Without understanding. That this is what he has already perfected for you. God is not in any hide and seek with us. He has revealed himself. Jesus, the express image of his person, the brightness of his glory. Jesus, he said, when you have seen him, you have seen me, you have seen him. He said, look at me, see how I function. So you see a lot of people too agitated for comfort. He's a Christian, 10 years, five years, 20 years, 30 years, still agitated. When will you enter into rest? knowing that God has you covered completely you know you must get rid of this mentality of we are pursuing God we are not the one pursuing he's the one pursuing us he's the one looking for us you are his choice I say you are God's choice no, you didn't get it. You are God's choice. As, as, as bad as you think you are, as civil as maybe you are not yet there, and you know there are some dirt in your life, but you are still his choice. Irrespective of how, where you are now, the position you are in, but you have received Christ, you are his choice. He believes in you. He believes in you. You are not the one in pursuit of God. God so loved the world that he gave. He's the one 
in pursuit of us even in our rottenness think of that it will change your entire mentality and, and your approach to God oh yes it will change the way you relate with him it will change the way you walk with him because the devil wants us to believe that we should let's let's be pursuing God and I understand what that but listen you must have a mentality of a son you are God's choice put your hand on your chest and say it I am God's choice say it again say it again say it again say it again can put that as your topic I am God's choice yes I still have some flaws which I'm working on but I am God's choice yet I, I have not gotten it all together but he chose me he chose me he is the one who made the choice he chose me I said he chose me I said he chose me let not live our life as if Jesus has not died buried and resurrected and seated at the right hand of the ma ma majesty living to make intercession for us if no one is praying for me I know that someone is praying and his prayer will always be answered I am God's choice glory to God glory to God do you understand what it means to be chosen chosen selected from multitudes five billion six billion in the world he selected me he chose me from among others and, and, and I can't explain why he chose me I can't explain I'm not the best I'm not the cleanest but he chose me he chose me he preferred me that's what chosen means preferred he 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 gave you a preferential treatment and, and, and pointed at you he called me called me I couldn't hear any other voice his voice drew me to himself he called me he called me out of multitudes I had his voice in the midst of multitudes shouting I had his voice and that's why I came to him and opened my heart to him I am his choice I am his choice and elect and elect he elected you he conscripted you do you, do, you see, do you see that just like just like Moses was not interested in going to deliver children of Israel and God went to him and said you are you are drafted your excuse is not accepted Jeremiah your excuse is not accepted it is you that I have chosen somebody shout I am chosen, I am chosen. glory to God I said glory to God he picked me like you go to a market and there are oranges or pear you want to choose you begin to look I don't want this I want this I don't want this, this I want I want this orange he chose me glory to God <laughs> and, and give you a name exclusively why are you the, he he has honored you elevated you gave you a seat on the table why are you putting yourself down why are you discounting yourself we are talking about the person who made the choice here it's not an ordinary person those of you in the corporate world you know what is called a head hunt is that not something like head hunt from my understanding is that you don't write application when you write application the time they choose to call you they call you it may take two years three years and when you get there you'll be trembling you don't do any negotiation whatever they hand over to you you take but when you are head haunted
they will be sending message all over the place say we are looking for this person do you know how to get him and then they get you you tell them where you can be able to be available and when you sit on the table you begin to negotiate yourself what you want this is human organization and if that is as good as that is can you compare it when the monarch and emperor of the universe has haunted you he, you, you didn't beg him you are on your own he picked you so you are the one he wants Candelebo City and that you receive you understand this it will change your entire prayer life because when that happens the whole of heaven's resources are deployed in your direction how can you fail how can you be defeated I am chosen the one that sits in the circles of the earth and behold the inhabitant like grasshopper is the one who looked at me if I am to choose me I won't choose me if I were to choose me I will see reason why I won't choose me but he's the one who knows the end from the beginning the, the, he, he knows he can in, 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 in a split second knows what you are capable of your mistakes your shortcomings your inadequacies he knew it there is not you are not going to surprise there is, you can't surprise God God already knows even the mistakes you will make tomorrow he already knows and yet he chose you somebody shout I am chosen, I am chosen. say it again I am chosen That's why I came this morning to let you know you cannot fail. Your end will not be in shame. It will not be in disgrace. You have already declared your end before you came. Let me show you something. Give me Ezekiel. 16 from verse 1 to 14 long read a message translation ezekiel god's message came to me son of man confront jerusalem with the outrageous violation say this the message of god the master to jerusalem that's a church you were born and bred among canaanites your father was an amorite and your mother a hittite gentiles on the day you were born, your umbilical cord was not caught. You weren't bathed and cleaned up. You weren't rubbed with salt. You weren't wrapped in a baby blanket. No one cared a fig for you. No one did one thing to care for you tenderly in these ways. You were thrown out into a vacant lot and left there dirty and unwashed. A newborn that nobody wanted. And when I came by I saw you all miserable and bloody yes I said to you lying there helpless filthy leave I come to tell you leave I said leave I said leave God saw all the dirt he said I don't care I'm specialized in handling dirt he said this one will leave I come to tell you you will leave I said you will leave you will not be destroyed you will leave your business will leave listen he said grow up like a plant in the field and you did you grew up you grew tall and matured as a woman full-breasted with flowing hair but you were naked and vulnerable fragile and exposed I came by again and saw you because I'm not yet done. When I call, when I start, I don't finish. I mean, I don't, I don't stop. I must finish. I am the author and the finisher. 
of this faith we are talking about he started it who told you that you are going to end without being perfected he's the one doing the work I came by again and saw you saw that you were ready you were ready for love and, and a lover I took care of you dressed you protected you I promise you my love and entered into the covenant of marriage with you I God the master gave my word you became mine hey hey I gave you a good bath washing up all the old blood anointed you with an aromatic oils I dressed you in a colorful gown and put leather sandals on your feet I gave you linen blouses and a fashionable wardrobe of expensive clothing I adorned you with jewelry I placed bracelets on your wrists fitted you out with a necklace emerald rings sapphire earrings and diamond tira you are provided with everything precious and beautiful with exquisite clothes and elegant food garnished with honey and oil you are absolutely stunning you are a queen listen to this you became the world famous a legendary beauty brought to perfection by my adornment decree of God the master somebody shout hallelujah If you read it all through, he said, I, I did it. You didn't beg me to do it. I did it. I picked you. I washed you. Not you. He did it. The problem is the fall of man is always making us like Reverend Shago said. We are always trying to do more. That's performance mentality. In New Testament, it says, I will do it for you. So what is your job? Believe. Your part is to what? Believe. That's your part. Stop trying to impress him. He's already impressed with himself. Can I hear loud amen? I was telling them in the, in the synod meeting yesterday, that we we do something when we praise God and we and, and it's okay God can enjoy it but really it's not the way we should pray we begin to praise him and praise him but you know the mentality we have when we are doing that we have that mentality that when, when we begin to praise him, God is seated and we are praising him. Yeah. Oh yeah, tell me more. Tell me more. And that I'm waiting when he gets to Zenit, then I will get up and throw my weight around. No, God is already impressed. What are you going to tell him that he doesn't know about himself? The whole of CCC's books of the Bible. The whole of CCC books of the Bible. Oh 
the whole of 66 books of the Bible. Somebody say, I am chosen. Come on, say it. I am God's choice. I am God's choice. You don't feel confident about that. Say, I am God's choice. I love the sound of that. You know, sometimes in life we feel inadequate. You know, when, when, you've, uh, when you've gone for a few interviews and they tell you no, how do you feel? Uh, you, you, it's not nice, is it? You come back feeling as though you are not good enough. Somebody say, I am God's choice. Come on, say, I am God's choice. You know, the scripture he was sharing with us, Ezekiel uh, 16, is one of the scriptures that uh, have sustained my faith as a young believer. You know, there are some times in your life when the only thing that God, the only intervention that God will bring to your situation is to prophesy life for you. That's the only thing he will do. He says, when I passed by, I found you in your blood. Your umbilical cord was not caught. Nobody washed you. Nobody did anything to show you favor. If you read it in the King James, it says nobody had favor. Nobody had compassion on you. He says, when I looked at you, I gave a decree. I say, you, even though you are, suff you are, you are, what's that word? Not suffocating. You, is it suffocating? You know when you are in water and you are almost um, drowning? Is it suffocating? Ah, okay, my English is still good there. It says, even though you are suffocating, overwhelmed, you don't know how to swim, you don't know what to do, it says, I have decreed that you will live. That means, you are going to come out and you will be wondering, how did I make it? You will get to the other end of the story and you will be asking yourself, how did it happen? Praise Jesus. The service I know will continue, is continuing, but I, I will take it, I'm going to, um, 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 uh, have they come back? It's the old one. No, it's the old one. Okay. Now, what I'm going to encourage you, because you will find, you will find it all over again on YouTube. Is that okay? I'm, I'm going to encourage every one of you to make sure that you look for the message and, and, and complete that message. You are God's choice. You are God's choice. Don't ever let any situation of life tell you otherwise. Praise Jesus. You know, when life is not going your way, you think God does not love you. Okay, I think they said we are back. I want to encourage you. Are, are we still okay to stay in church? Are we still okay? Are we still okay? All right, let's let's join let's join Lagos, Nigeria. Take us back. Any preacher tell you that he's getting something because of his qualification? That preacher is preaching heresy. Never believe him. It's heresy. It is of the lost mercy.
It's of his mercy. That's what God has been trying to get the church to do so that we can rise up into his fullness. He said the fullness of God. How to know the fullness of God when you understand his irrevocable, irreversible, blood-bought, iron-clad, unconditional, extravagant love for you. Love that transcends human understanding. That's what Paul was tell, telling the church, praying concerning the church in Ephesians chapter 3 from verse 14, that God should grant to us according to riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man that Christ will dwell in our hearts by faith that we be rooted and granted in love will be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height and to know the love of Christ with perfect knowledge then you are filled with the fullness of God feed on the love of God for you 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 the way you are that's what why it is a love that trans transcends human understanding human love says when you do good I love you do bad I will not love you again even paternal love and maternal love junior if you pass exam I'll buy you ice cream you fail your exam, no more tele television. It's conditional. But his own love to him unconditional. And the beauty of it is a love that is favorable disposed to deploy only goodness. Only good. Every day I wake up, I'm not expecting badness. I'm expecting my own load of goodness, yes, my own load of benefits. Hallelujah. Because every day comes with benefits. Every day. Every day. Somebody br br say, Brother Mike, are you now saying that you are flawless? No. All I'm saying is that my flaws, when I wake up every morning because I am in Him. The blood takes care of it. So I am not zeroing in on my fault. I'm zeroing in on him. A lecturer wanted to teach his children in class a lesson. And they all got, get, got together to pass the exam, to take the exam. He put clean sheets on their table. Every one of them. I said, now, the time for exam to commence. And they, he said, they now they can open the question paper. They open the question paper. All of them. He said, he said to them, write what you see. Write what you see. And they were all shocked, looking at him. Write what you see. It happened that the only thing that is in that sheet was a spot a spot they began to describe the spot different descriptions of the spot on that white sheet when they all finished he said the reason I gave you this exam is to teach you a lesson he said human beings are prone on looking at the bad things he said so all the white in this paper you didn't see it the only thing you saw Every one of you in the class is a sport. Child of God, there are many, many good things that happen to you every day. Every day. Every day. Every day. If you check yourself, that's why the songwriter says, count your blessings and what? Yeah. Count your blessings. There's more going on for you in life than the experiences you are going through. We are here in the world and the devil will do his job. But I rise above it when I remember that the God that we serve will always be and fight for me. 
He has assured me he will never, never leave me, no what? Forsake. You know, when you are chosen, when he chooses you, he takes on the responsibility for your entire well-being. Abraham and Sarah were in all her days, 75 years. In Genesis 11, the Lord came to them. They didn't go to God. He said, he said you will not die where your father stopped. That's not your graveyard. That's not your graveyard. And I speak to you today. Any grave the enemy has prepared for you, I command it to be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. You will not stop where your father stopped. You will not stop where your mother stopped. There are greater things ahead of you. You will pursue, you will overtake and recover all. I speak restoration in your life. I speak abundance in your life. I speak open door in your life. Your story will not end in shame. God came to him there and called him out of all Chaldees. Man was minding his business, retiring. He said, you have not finished. You have babies inside your womb. From then on, God took over. God took over, see your God, took over his life. I'll bless you. Look at the massive blessing, Genesis 12. Look at him. Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation. And I will bless you and make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee and cause them that cause thee. And in thee, shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And Abraham left. Now, he had no baby. Time was running out. And then here comes suggestion from, say, from Hagar. You know the story? Said that, look, this little girl I brought from Egypt. I think that's the idea God was speaking about. Because we're already dead. And he went into Hagar. God allowed him. He said, when, when, when the flesh gets silent, then I'll accept him. And God allowed him, and he went to Hagar. Hagar became pre pregnant. And for 13 years, God never spoke. He was just looking at him. When I was studying that scripture, God said to me, the reason I allowed him to get to 100 years, because when he was still between 75 and 86, that, you see, that, that, uh, that, um, Ishmael was born. That I found out that his flesh is still alive. The thing is still working. I'm going to stop until I'm, I'm going to I'm going to wait until that thing dies. That that, that thing will not be working again. Even if you bring a, a, a succulent lady to him, he will not look at it because the thing is no more working. And God allowed the thing to be dead. He said, now I will step in. Glory to God. You see, as long as you are, still, you are still alive, some things will not work. God wants to take the glory alone. He wants to take the glory alone. He looked at Abraham, he said, your thing is still working. I didn't tell you that you should go and, 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 and try to manage and, and manipulate me. I said, it is your uh, Sarah. I'm talking about Sarah, the one you call dead womb. I command light out of your life. Let life come out of the dead. Let life come out of your business. Let life come out of your ministry. In the name of Jesus. God is able to do what he said he would do. Are you hearing me? He's able to do it, doesn't need your hand. He doesn't need the arm of the flesh. Abraham and God visited him. 
and God did unto him as he has said not only that Abraham was blessed God did for him as he said in Genesis 21 24 God Abraham was blessed massively blessed in cattle in sheep in you call it anything in Lamborghini all kinds of things Genesis 24 and verse 1 and 35 massively blessed because God has said it and the Bible says to me and you in Galatians 3 7 Galatians 3 verse 7 look at what he says Galatians 3 verse 7 know ye therefore that they which are of faith the same are the children of what how many are of faith here you are children of Abraham I say you are children of Abraham and verse 27 to 29 look at what he says for as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ there is neither Jew nor Greek neither born, born nor free neither male nor female for you are all one in Christ Jesus and if he be Christ then are you Abraham sees and heirs according to promise beloved you have your part because you are chosen you have your part Abraham was chosen and so no, no matter what happens he is bound to produce babies because God takes responsibility it's no more your your responsibility is the I am I am the resurrection I am the life can I hear loud amen, amen. the reason Moses was able to bring the children of Israel out of Egypt I was able to confront Pharaoh the terror of that period was because he was drafted chosen chosen conscripted as, as a result he was able to go and say let my people go the devil will never keep you bound this is your season of release I say it's your season of release I hear the Holy Spirit say to me every delay is lifted every delay is lifted it is lifted in Joshua chapter 1 God came to Joshua say Moses my servant is dead you are being drafted for the next assignment Joshua was trying to explain to God he said shut up now take them Moses brought them out you are taking them in yeah Moses crossed the Red Sea you are going to cross Jordan yeah 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 and Joshua began to say but I'm not Moses and God said shut your mouth I'm the one who was with Moses it was not Moses even doing it I'm the one doing it just as I did it with Moses I'll do it with you in your weakness I will do it with you in your shortcoming I will do it with you your inadequacies I will do it with you and Moses was able to divide the land for the children of Israel I mean Joshua and at the end he recovered so much lands why because he was conscripted just understanding knowing that he was drafted chosen by God are you hearing me the man Gideon was hiding at the hiding from the Midianites threshing floor at the wine press hiding and here comes God and say the Lord is with you that mighty man of God drafted and the man said if God is with us look at look at the sufferings and God said to him you will you you will go in this I might there is something you have that you have not discovered you are mighty the Lord in the midst of you is what mighty he said you are mighty go in this I might and bring them out when you read down the line the Bible declared that this same Gideon blew the trumpet the whole land followed him all those who have been despising and did what followed him 
Your shame is over. Your shame is over. Your shame is over. Is the one who chose you. You did not choose yourself. David realized that he was chosen. In 1 Samuel 16, when all the other brothers were coming, David was not there. But they had to go and headhunt him. <laughs> they headhunted him. Samuel said, until David comes, we will not proceed. The service will not continue. Until David comes to take his place. And here comes David. The oil that I refused to flow started flowing. Ah! Your oil will flow! Your oil will flow! Your oil will flow! So are you surprised that he brought down Goliath? <laughs> if God be for you, we are looking for the who. Ereta, we are looking for the who. Because God is for you. He will fight your battles. He will shut the mouth of the enemy. He will silence the voice of the wicked. You will not end in disgrace. You will not be embarrassed. You will not die prematurely. Before this, before this year end, your testimony will announce you. It will announce you. It will announce you. First Peter 2 9 message translation. Let me try and come for a landing. But you are once, but you are the ones chosen by God. You are the ones. Stop looking around. Chosen for the high calling of priestly work. Chosen to be a holy people. God's instruments. To do his work and speak out for him to tell others of the night and day difference he made for you 10 from nothing to something from rejected to accepted somebody say I'm accepted say it again I'm accepted say it again I am accepted One John 15, I mean not one John, John 15, 16. You didn't choose me, remember? Because many have forgotten. I chose you and put you in the world to bear fruit. Your days of barrenness are over. They're over. They're over. When he chose you, he put inside you the mechanism to produce. I chose you to put you in the world to bear fruit. Fruit that won't spoil. The fruit won't spoil. You go for market. If others don't sell, you will sell. Let fuel be 533, 600. You will have money to buy it. You have money to buy it. You have money to buy it. We operate from another kingdom. We don't operate by the economy of Nigeria. We operate by heavenly economy. And there is no lack in that economy. It cannot go bankrupt. It can never go bankrupt. I say it can never go bankrupt. Put it on the screen, I've not finished reading it. You say fruit that won't spoil. So if right now your business is suffering some reverses, I command it on around. 
I command the turn around. It won't spoil. As fruit bearers, whatever you ask the Father in relation to me, He gives you. He gives you. Can I hear loud? Amen. Because you are in Christ. Henceforth, know we no man after the flesh. 2 Corinthians 5 16. If any man be in Christ, it's a brand new species of being that has never existed before. Yes, it's a new creature. All things are passed away, all failures. Your father's challenge cannot stop you. You are unstoppable. Put your hand on your, side, your chest and say, I'm unstoppable. Say it again. Say it again. You carry power. Say it, I'll carry power. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. If you read, let me close with this. There are many things I, I would have shown you, but for time constraint. If you read the book of uh, Luke chapter 15, all the parables there, you will notice the parable of the shepherd who lost his sheep, the parable of the woman that lost her coin, the parable of the prodigal son, all of them, there is none of them that did anything that warranted the recovery. It is the father who went to look for the sheep. It is the father who carried the sheep on his shoulder. It is the father who returned back. It is the father who did what? Who organized a, a, a party. The sheep was just resting. He allowed the father to do everything. The woman that was looking for her coin, she's the one who rearranged everywhere looking for the coin. The coin was just where it was. Why are you agitated? He has chosen you. He knows you. He already knows the end from the beginning. He has completed you, perfected you. For he whom he did for no, he did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, that he may be firstborn among many brethren. And he who he predestinated, he called. That's why you answered. You didn't answer because you had not a call. Let me go. I'm looking for God. You are not looking for him. He's not lost. Those he called, he justified. And those he justified, he put. All of them, pastors, completed. How dare you think a witch from the village? demonic arrow targeted against your life. Today, I command it to be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. From today, you will pursue your pursuers. You will pursue your pursuers. See, keep on hearing before December. Ha! A massive testimony is coming your way. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. No more delays. Your ground will answer to you. Your ground will answer to you. Your ground will answer to you. Nations will open for you. International business will open for you. Even those who don't like you, they will look for you. They will become instrument in the hand of God. Your story is glorious. Your story is glorious. I will surely hear your testimonies. 
I said, I will surely hear your testimonies. You have been drafted. You have been highlighted. <laughs> you have been separated. The covenant of exemption is upon your life. What killed others will not kill you. Anyone in this building whose life is threatened with this, this cancerous, cancerous siege, I stand as the authority of heaven to speak to that very siege. I command that cell, die! Let there be recovery. Speedy recovery. Speedy recovery. Speedy recovery. You will not suffer from dementia. You will not suffer from stroke. In the name of Jesus. The children that God has given to us, they are for signs, they are for wonders. Wherever they are all over the world, the enemy will not violate them. Our children will occupy their global space. They will occupy their global space. In different continents of the world, they will look for them. Our children will be, will be, our children will be celebrated. They will be celebrated. All their giftings will come alive. I release creativity. I release concepts. I release ideas. Not let your witty invention upon our children. They will not take the back seat. They will not be lost in the crowd. In the name of Jesus. I release you pastors to your various locations, cities, towns, and states. I release you right now as the oracle of God into those areas. I release you with fresh mandates. That ground will answer to you. That land will answer to you. You will not labor for trouble. You will see the travail of your heart. You will see the travail of your heart. You will see speedy turn around. Speedy turn around. Speedy turn around. Speedy turn around. Your story is changing now. 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 Your voice will not be silenced. Your voice will not be silenced. Your voice will not be silenced. The dead will hear your voice. The dead will hear your voice. The dead will hear your voice. I speak that every one of you, as we meet next time, you will come with powerful testimonies. You are coming back with powerful testimonies. You are coming back with powerful testimonies. The grace that brought this ministry to where we are without any manipulation, without any games, just by the simplicity of following God, I declare fresh, freshness of that grace. Let it come upon your lives. You will recover all. You will recover all. You will recover all. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we give you the honor. Lift up those hands. Just sing it. Everlasting, everlasting. Love of God. Everlasting, everlasting. Everlasting. Let's, let's just sing it with every emphasis. Every understanding. Everlasting. Everlasting. Precious love of God. Oh, what a Savior. Oh, what a salvation. We have received.
is over. The God that brought you here safely will take you back safely. You will not die of accident on the way. There will be no plane crash on the way. You will get back home safely. The blood that speaks better things speaks on your behalf. I will hear your testimony. I will hear your testimony. I will hear your testimony. Father, we give you the praise. We honor you. In Jesus' name. the first week of uh, October we shall be dedicating our large auditorium in uh, in the live camp in Abuja <laughs> Reverend Aum Adela he has finally conquered that mountain conquered that Goliath a massive project he undertook and that God has helped him. So I will encourage us, zonal pastors, district pastors, to plan towards it the first week of, uh, of October for us to go and encourage him and say, Look, we thank God for your life. Of course, board members will, will try and be there. Praise God. If you are here in this building and you do not know Jesus, I want to give you an opportunity. Because what it begins by saying to him, I believe you. All I have shared begins by simply saying, Lord, I believe you. Don't be in this type of service and go walk away without having the assurance of your relationship with God. Except a man be born again, he cannot see. He cannot enter the kingdom of God. Except a man be born again. You can't do until you see. You can't do. You can't be able to achieve. Listen. Adam and Eve were naked. But what, what was it that was used to cover them? Can somebody tell me, remind, remind me? They tried to cover themselves with leaves and the leaves could not cover. And it took God himself to provide for them a lamp that will cover them. What's that saying? If you don't have Jesus, you are naked. I don't, I don't care how educated you are. I don't care how philanthropic you are. If you don't have Jesus, you are just naked walking through the streets. Jesus is our covering. He's the only one that covers our shame. Praise God. So I want to pray for you. Say, Brother Mike, I want to give my heart to Christ. If that's you in this building, so that before we take the communion, very quickly, I want to give you an opportunity to come here right now. Come and meet me here. Anyone, look around you. If there is somebody you will assist to come. I want to give my heart to Christ. I want to surrender to Him. I want to be born again. I want to be born again. Come on. Come on. Come. I extend that call in this hall as well. Anyone? For anyone that would love to receive Christ come. into their life, just come.
kingdom concerning Paul, Paul the Apostle, when he was still Saul, in the Acts of Apostle 9.15, the Bible says that God told Ananias, I want you to go and lay hands on him so that he will receive his sight. Because he's a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name among the Gentiles and kings. That even though now he looks like a Boko Haram, even though now he's a terrorist, he said, but I have chosen him. God, the way God chooses is not the way man chooses. That he's going to stand before kings for me. And when you read down the line, several occasions the devil wanted to kill Paul and he couldn't kill him because of the prophetic word that has gone that is a chosen vessel. There are things that cannot come near you because you are a chosen one. The enemy will just waste his time. Let them fashion their weapons. It will not come near you. Why? Because you are chosen. Even when there was storm in the sea, he still landed safely on broken planks. Broken planks took him into decision. Why is a chosen person? Congratulations. Congratulations. I want you to pray this prayer with me. Say it loud and mean what you are saying. Don't have any doubt. Believe it. Close your eyes. Repeat it after me. Almighty God. Almighty God. I come to you today. I come to you today. I know I am a sinner. I know I am a sinner. And I cannot save myself. And I cannot save myself. No matter how I try. No matter how I that try. That is why I come to you. That is why I today. come to you. Today. I denounce the devil. I denounce the devil. And all his works. And all his works. I invite you. I invite Come you. Come and live in me. Come and live in me. From today. From today. I receive you. I receive as you. my savior. As my savior. And my lord. And my lord. I receive. I receive your miracle. Your miracle of salvation. Of salvation. I will serve you. I will serve throughout you the days of my life. throughout the days of my Thank life. Thank you for saving my soul. Thank you for saving my in soul. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray for you upon the confession of the faith you have made this morning and upon the authority of God's word. And in that name that's above every name, I declare that your sins are forgiven. Amen. The power of darkness over your life is destroyed. Amen. The miracle of salvation becomes a reality in your life. Amen. And from today onwards, you begin to partake of the benefits of all the children of God in the light. Hallelujah. A new chapter is open for you. Amen. Your end will be glorious. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Put your hands together for yourself. Listen, we would like to continue to be of assistance to you and help you to become all that God has ordained. So I want you to go with our brother. He's going to give you some information. Then you join us back in the meeting. Let's have your con contact so that we keep on praying for you and we can contact you and let you know about your development, okay? God bless you. Go with him.